Hello, Ivy English students. Welcome to the video for week six of quarter three. This is the video for the asynchronous week, uh, which are the asynchronous days are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Those of you in eighth period, I will see you during our normal live Zoom class on Friday using the half day schedule, but you are still to view this um, video at the beginning of the week and get started on this work as soon as possible. To do that, please open up these two items, right? The outline for your essay and then the actual essay template. As a reminder, everything you say, do, or type is recorded, so please remember to keep it school appropriate. And as always, there's no saving, downloading, or taking pictures of our class today or ever. On our agenda, right, again, I want to call your attention to these two announcements at the top of the Canvas page. If you need to pay for your IB exams, please make sure that you do that before April 9th. If you have questions, please ask Mrs. Zersky. And if you have your copy of the namesake, please return it to Seneca Valley as soon as possible so that Ms. Taylor students can begin using that book. Um, you are to review the feedback that I gave you on your high-level essay outline. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit in a second. And then use your time this week to construct your actual high-level essay for perfume. A quick note about office hours this week, right? I am available from 10 to two on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this week. On Friday, I'll be available from 7.45 to 8.45. Um, these times are only, uh, excuse me, uh, these are specific to me. If you want to meet with your other teachers, please contact them directly and ask them what times they're available. Um, many of them may not be available um, because they are physically setting up their classroom or doing some other kind of professional development uh, during this asynchronous time, et cetera. Um, but this is when you can get a hold of me. Please use the student support Zoom to join during these times. All right, the first common error that came up was uh, people actually left in the word uh, or the acronym, excuse me, diddles in when they were filling in this uh, sentence, right? The IB board doesn't know what the acronym diddles stands for, so you have to use specific elements that your paper will discuss. Um, so for example, you know, if my body paragraph discusses diction, uh, my second body paragraph discusses imagery, and then my third body paragraph discusses syntax, I would fill it out like this. Right? In the text Perfume, the story of a murderer, how does Patrick Suskin use diction, imagery, and syntax to develop a message about identity and creativity? Right? I wouldn't use the acronym diddles. Um, you could also have used uh, just the generic term right, or style devices. Uh, you would just make sure that the words style and devices are not capitalized, right? Sorry about any confusion. I left them capitalized because they were an item to put in there, but yeah, they don't need to be capitalized. Um, what was next? The second error that I noticed was some people, instead of actually filling out all the bullet points here, they just copied and pasted um, their answer to those, uh, you know, the part two of the reading questions. And that's not exactly what I'm looking for, right? You had to fill in all these things to make sure that you're not leaving anything out. So the easiest way to correct that is to paste your first full sentence uh, as the, your topic sentence, you know, editing to eliminate redundancy, right? You don't have to keep giving the title every single time or the author's name every single time. Um, add in your own summary of the text uh, where it says, understand, you know, so that somebody could understand it. Uh, paste the quote in its entirety and the citation. And then these three bullet points under explanation should all have an answer to them, okay, individually. So to show you what that would look like, or could look like, right? My topic sentence, Suskin uses syntax to develop a message about communication, semicolon. He wants the reader to know or understand that a lack of communication can lead to disaster, even death. Right, summary, I would type something more than this, right? But Grenouille is doing blah, 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 blah. Right? It did not have to be a full sentence, just something kind of short and sweet. Completely um, copy and paste your full quote with the citation. And then your explanation, right? If I look down at the bottom here, you know, what diddles uh, or style device is present here, right? I have syntax, right? Short sentences and a mixture of long sentences. Uh, how do you know that it's that style device, right? The short sentence is designed to grab the reader's attention and it stands out. And then how does the style device build to the meaning or impact that you've come up with, right? How does it actually prove what you're saying in your topic sentence? 
you know, in this case, I wrote, Suskin draws attention to the short sentence to help punctuate his point about communication or his lesson about communication. 